everyone welcome back to unified oski your success is our delight for all aspiring uk registered nurses keep putting in your best believe in yourself i will see you winning at the top in this video i'd like to take us through peak expiratory flow reading you have eight minutes to demonstrate competence as regards the skill. You need your peak flow apparatus, a single use reusable mouthpiece, or a single use disposable mouthpiece. You need a document showing the details of your patient as regards the height, the age, and the gender. And you need a peak flow chart which you will need to compare your patient best flow peak reading with the expected um, peak flow reading so that's all we need for now but we're going to take it with assuming all checks have been done you know you get to the exam center and your examiner asks you to start with assuming all checks have been done so how do we go about it let's get started assuming all checks have been done this includes safety check identity check comfort check as well as gaining my patient consent i will go ahead to do my hand hygiene i'll put an ample of gel palm to palm palm over back of hand vice versa palm to palm fingers interlaced fingers interlock fingers interlock rotational rubbing of the tongue rotational rubbing of the tongue fingertips on palm in rotational manner fingertips on palm vice versa and my wrist in rotational manner my wrist in rotational manner allow my hands to hide head dry for 30 seconds so i will go ahead to put on my apron and I'll go and gather my materials. So I'm going to gather my materials now. I said so I can confirm that my tray is cleaned uh, within 24 hours with soap and water and ready for use. So if it's a clean procedure, but if I still want to go ahead, I can use the clean wipes to clean it in zigzag manner, both front and back. But I've affirmed, I've confirmed with my examiner that it's been cleaned with soap and water within 24 hours. I need a pair of glove. It's in date, not expired. I need my peak flow apparatus. It's in date. It's, it is... Uh, individual use and it is clean ready for use i need a single use mouthpiece just for individual use and i have my documents already i will do my hand hygiene again following all the steps i will take my materials and i will go back to my patient hello Hi, nurse. Yeah, I'm back. Like I said earlier, just to remind you, my name is Buki Ademola. And can you remind me your full name again? All right, I'm Harry Johnson. Oh, Harry Johnson. That's wonderful. And your date of birth? Um, 26.09.1977. 26.09.1977. Yeah, you told me earlier. And you told me you've got no allergy. No. Okay, so 1977. Does that mean you are 45 years old? Yeah, that's right. Okay, wonderful. Harry, I'll just need to check with you. Have you been taking your peak flow reading before now? Yes, nurse. Oh, what's your best reading? Um, I believe it to be 600. Oh, that's wonderful. But even at that, I'm here just to take a peak flow reading on you and see how well you're doing. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Are you on any inhaled medication? Yes, I am. Oh, are, are you asthmatic? Yes. Nurse. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to explain what you need to do. Is that okay with you? That's fine, nurse. And you, 
You told me you are comfortable, you are not in any pain, right? No, nurse. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to ensure privacy is provided. I will quickly do my hand hygiene again. Allow my hands to dry for 30 seconds. I'm going to put on my glove. So, Harry. Yes, nurse. Yeah. When you need to take your big flow reading, you need to sit upright or stand upright. Is that okay? Yes, nurse. Okay. You need to hold your you need to connect your disposable mouthpiece. This is a single use reusable. And we have some that are disposable as well. Okay. You need to hold your pig floor facing you in an horizontal manner. Ensure that the marker, the red one, like a pointer, is at zero. And make sure it slides down to zero. Okay? Yes, nurse. So you can take your peak flow reading in the morning after taking your inhaled medication, but that should be 30 minutes after taking your inhaled medication. And you can also take it at night or evening. Okay? So those are the times you can take your peak flow reading. Okay? And please make sure you keep a diary of your reading over one or two weeks. So that your doctor can have a look when you come for your appointment. Is that alright? Yes, nurse. Okay. So you need to take full inspiration and make sure your lung is filled up and hold your breath. You're going to form a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. You're going to blow as forceful as fast as you can in a short sharp blow as if you are blowing a candle and make sure your tongue is not covering the hole of the mouthpiece is that all right yes nurse. so that's all we need to do and you need to take the first reading you take a short rest after the first reading a short rest of about two minutes then you take the second reading take short rest and take the third reading and we're going to take the best peak flow among those three readings. So the highest will make your best peak flow. And if we have a difference between your three readings, that is 40 liters per minute, you're going to repeat two more to make a total of five readings. And you take the best reading from the five readings. Is that right? Yes, nurse. Okay, that's all you need to do. So, are you ready to have it done? Yes, nurse. Okay, so I'm handing it over to you. Okay, you are sitting upright already. Do you prefer to sit upright or to stand upright, Harry? Sitting upright is fine. Okay, wonderful. You are sitting upright already. Take full inspiration and make sure your lung is full, holding your breath. Holding your peak flow device in an horizontal manner. The slide or marker is at zero level already. Form a tight seal with your leaves. Okay, are you ready? You're holding it both by the sides without impeding the gauge. And I'm sure the vent is open. The, the, there's nothing blocking the vent. So, form a tight seal with your lips. Are you ready to then give it a short, sharp blow? <sighs> Wonderful. Okay. So, that's the first reading. I'm going to note it. The first reading you have is 620. Okay? You take rest, a short rest for two minutes. Is that okay? Yes, nurse. Okay, wonderful. Two minutes is passed. Can you take a full inspiration? Make sure your lung is filled up. The marker is back at zero level. You're holding it horizontally. Wonderful. Okay. Can you form a tight seal with your lips while still holding your breath? 
Okay. Can you go for the second reading? A short, sharp blow. As fast as possible as you can. <sighs> Wonderful, Harry. And for the second reading, we've got 610. Okay. You're taking rest for two minutes. Assuming two minutes has passed. Are you ready for the third reading, Harry? Yes, nurse. Oh, okay. Wonderful. You're sitting upright already. I'm sliding the marker back to zero. Can you take full inspiration? Your lungs is filled. Form a tight seal with your lips without your tongue covering the mouthpiece hole. Can you give a short, sharp blow as possible and as fast as you can? <sighs> Wonderful. And the third reading, we've gotten 600. Okay, Harry. Harry, can you just give me a few minutes? I'm here by your side. But in case you need anything, just give me a shout and I'll be right here. I'm going to remove my gloves. I'm taking out my apron. I'll quickly do my hand hygiene. And I'm going to chat your reading, okay? So, based on your, you have 620 is your best between these three readings. So, we're going to take that as your best reading for today. And you said your best big flow reading is 600, is that right? Yes. Oh, wonderful. That means you are doing well and your medication is working well. You know, the main purpose of this is to check if your medication is effective and to have an assessment of your lung capacity. You know, how much of hair you can breathe out forceful from your lungs and you are doing good. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to chat it on the peak flow charts. Your age is 45. I need your age. And on the horizontal line, which shows age in years, I'm chatting a dot up to meet the height and your height is 160 centimeter. I'm going to use the scale for men since your gender is male and I'm pointing, I'm pointing from the edge up to the purple color and where it intersects, I'm going to draw a line to the vertical side, which is showing your peak flow per meter. And based on this, the expected is 590, which means you are doing well, Harry. I'm happy about that. So I'm just quickly going to explain to you about your device. It's single individual use, like I said. Make sure it's clean according to manufacturer's guideline and you air dry it. Make sure nothing, it's no dirt in it. When you're trying to take your peak flow reading, don't cough inside it. When you cough inside it, it can give you a false reading. Now keep a diary of your reading so that when, you're, when you come for your appointments, your doctor or GP can always have a review and to see how good you are doing. Is that okay with you? Yes, nice. Yeah, within six to 12 months, you can have a new one can request for help from your GP to have a new one, okay? And if it is faulty by any means, you need to change it as well. You know, deep breathing can also help your lung. Follow your medication as prescribed by your doctor. And that is all I have for you, Harry. Harry, do you have any concern for me? No, I'm all right, nurse. Any question? No, that'll be all. Oh, okay, wonderful. So I'm going to make sure the apparatus is clean and keep with you since it's a single use and it belongs to you. We're going to clean the tray and make it ready for next use. I will do my final hand hygiene according to WHO standard. Harry, yes, so that's yes. all I'll be leaving you for now. If you have any concern, you can always ring up your GP. Do you have your GP's number? Yes, I do. And in case of any emergency, you can dial 999. Is that all right? Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for your time, Harry. Bye for now. Thank you. So that's all you need to do for your peak flow reading skill station. 
the red flags sometimes can be when you are trying to explain be careful not to contaminate the mouthpiece or fiddle with the mouthpiece you know remember that is going into your patient's mouth and make sure the marker slides to zero before taking your reading and explain the way we've explained with this i'm sure you're going to have a pass in this session that's all we have for you for today thanks for your likes and subscriptions keep it coming if you have any questions as regards your oski you can always post it on the platform bye for now